let's talk about Avengers Endgame. A couple of months ago, when this movie came out, I was under the impression that this movie would make over $3 billion. It would blow past Avatar. And now I have to admit, I think I'm wrong. I don't think Avengers Endgame will top Avatar on the all-time box office. It just won't. There really isn't going to be much traction. It fell out of the top 10, finally. Um, it was a very, very good run for Avengers Endgame, but I'm not convinced that it will pass Avatar. Well, good news, John. We have some breaking news that might make you very excited. What is up, everybody? Proper here, and today I'm coming at you with some breaking news that Avengers Endgame is going to be having a re-release next weekend, and apparently they're going to be including some deleted scenes to give it an, an extended runtime and also give the film some sort of excuse to be re-released just so it can pass Avatar, most likely because they were a little little jealous and salty that took them 23 years. I mean, <laughs> improper. 23 films in order to achieve the financial success that Avatar managed to do with no hype at all in one movie. But there might also be some alternative motives to it like, hey, more Captain Marvel. Yay. This is what we wanted. But seriously though, I do think that this uh, could bridge that gap of around $35 million as of recording this video that is between Avengers Endgame and Avatar. And I'm very curious as to whether or not this will be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Is this going to be the one to dethrone James Cameron from having that slot since 1997 with Titanic and now he outdid it with Avatar? But of course I would be remiss if I didn't include the fact that Avatar 2 is going to be coming out in a couple years and perhaps that will be the time where Avatar gets a re-release and then it gets to reclaim the throne once again, it's just another back and forth of movies kind of cheating. So John, perhaps you were right all this time and we just didn't know. Even if it's just temporary, it still has a shot to get at least $35 million I think. I mean, honestly, it's a smart decision. I'm certainly not going to fault Marvel for wanting to claim that top spot, but at the same time, it does seem a little petty. I mean, what are we going to get? We're going to get some more Captain Marvel. We're going to get may possibly an end credit sequence. Maybe we'll have that deleted scene of Catherine. I've I forget her name. She's supposed to play uh, Tony Stark's daughter, and that scene got cut, so maybe that'll be in there. Maybe we'll get to see her after all. Yay! That's where my thoughts are with this. I want to know yours. Let me know in the comments section down below. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and also remember to ring that bell for notifications. Also, if you want to support the channel, my PayPal is in the description down below. Also, of course, hit that like button, and if you don't like what I have to say about this, go ahead hit that dislike button because my feelings won't be hurt. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much and have a great day.